Hello geometry students, today's learning target is to solve algebra problems related to parallel lines. So if we look at problem number one, this was our classwork. And the first thing we're going to do is label. So I'm going to label 12x minus 45 for angle 2. And then the second thing I'm going to do is label angle 7, which is 8x plus 10. And in a previous lesson, we learned that corresponding angles are congruent. So the equation that we would write would be 12x minus 45 is equal to 8x plus 10. The first step would be to combine like terms. There are no like terms on the left side nor the right side. So the second step is I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides. Doing that, I'll get 4x minus 45 is equal to 10. Then I'm going to add 45 to both sides. And we'll get 4x is equal to 55. You will get decimals for this particular worksheet. So you're going to divide by 4. And you'll get x to be 13.75. So x is 13.75. To get angle 2, we're going to plug that in or substitute. So 12 times 13.75 minus 45 will get us an answer of 120 degrees. Moving on to problem number two. Again, the first thing I'm going to do is label. So angle five is 24x plus 29. And angle eight is 26x minus 24. Those are same side exterior angle. And remember, same side exterior angles are supplementary. So the equation would be 26x minus 24 plus 24x plus 29 is equal to 180 degrees. Then we want to combine like terms. So when you put the 26 and the 24x together, and I'm using my calculator, we get 50x then you could combine the minus 24 and the positive 29, that's plus 5, is equal to 180. We'll subtract 5 from both sides. So 50x is 175. And dividing that on my calculator, we will get x to be 3.5. So let me write down that step. So we're going to divide both sides by 50. So x is 3.5. Then to get angle 2, we're going to do 4, 24 times 3.5 plus 29. And when you do that on your calculator, you're going to get 113 for angle 5. Looking at our next class example. Again, the first thing we're going to do is mark the angles. So angle 4 is 30x take away 47. And angle 8 is 10x take away 5. Now these are same side interior angles. And we learned that same side interior angles are also supplementary. So I'm going to add those two angles up, and they're going to equal 180 degrees. We're going to combine like terms, so we're going to have 40x. When you add the negative 5 and the negative 47, you get minus 52 is 180. You're going to add 52 to both sides. Combining like terms, I'm sorry, uh, simplifying, you're going to get 180 plus 52 is 232. Then you're going to divide 
by 40. Again, you will get decimals on this. And you're going to get 5.8. And to get angle 4, you're going to say 30 times 5.8, take away 47. Doing the math, you're going to get 127 degrees. The last class example we did was problem number 4. Again, the first step is to label. So angle 2 is 44x, take away 50. Angle 6, this, these are alternate interior angles, and we learned that alternate interior angles are congruent. So the equation would be 24x plus 25 is equal to 44x minus 50. First up, I would combine like terms. There are no like terms, so I'm going to subtract 24x from both sides. And we'll get 25 is equal to 20x, take away 50. We'll add 50 to both sides. Get 75 is equal to 20x. And then we'll divide both sides by 20. And again, you will get decimals, and doing this on my calculator, I'll get x to be 3.75. So x is 3.75. To get angle 5, angle 5 and angle 2 are vertical angles, so they are congruent. Angle 6 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. They are also are congruent. So you can plug x into either equation. I'm going to choose to plug it into the 44x minus 50. And when I do that with my calculator, I will get 115 degrees. So I hope you found this helpful on solving algebra problems related to parallel lines.